Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are having a good start to your week. It's currently Monday and um, I've already ran some errands this morning. Um, excuse the wet hair, I don't like to use heat on my hair so I generally wait it to air dry. Still not dried yet because I've had my hair up in a bun all morning so yeah, it's still wet. I hope that doesn't bother too many people. Anyway. So I actually originally planned on filming a high street haul today just because I realized I haven't shared any of the high street purchases I've made recently. Um, I've only done designer for a little bit. But after I had a little think, um, I decided I wouldn't do that video today just because I've been requested so many times to do more bag collections, more bag videos, etc. and more specifically on Chanel. Um, so I guess that's what we're doing today. I thought I would just, might as well just film that today then. So I'm sorry, but I won't be doing like a full on Chanel collection video. Um, there would just be too much to share and etc. I don't know. I know the Louis Vuitton one did so well, but I'm just kind of nervous doing a Chanel one for some reason. But anyway, I'm going to be still sharing um, quite a few of my favorite Chanel bags. And yeah, they're probably my most used bags in my collection as a whole, basically. Um, so we're just going to dive right into it. I don't know what else to say. So you guys have seen some of the bags I'm going to be sharing, um, but I try to think back and try to not be too repetitive with the bags I've been sharing. Um, so for example, the classic jumbo flat bag. I'm not sharing that in this video because I think there's enough on that bag, but <laughs> it's still a gorgeous bag. So yeah, I still have it. Obviously I love it. Um, obviously one of my loved, my most loved bags, but I'm just not going to share it because I've shared it too many times. This I've shared a few times as well, but I can't get enough of this bag. Um, I think I did, my first video I think was a what's my bag with this. Um, and yeah, it's a hand-me-down from my mom actually. She purchased it, I think three years ago. Um, and then I guess it didn't really fit her lifestyle as much, I'm not sure. Or she bought a new bag. My mom's the kind of type that like, once she buys a new bag, she'll like continuous, continuously use that for like a couple months until she gets bored and then buys another one. Whereas I um, I don't continuously wear the same bag all the time. I kind of switch out of my bags all the time so I don't get bored of it. Anyway, um, I'm not complaining because that just means my mom hands me down her bags when she gets bored of them. When I say bored, I don't mean like she doesn't value it or anything. I just mean that she got, she got a new bag and that's just her way of, you know. Um, plus she knows um, handing any bag down to me would make me really happy, so yeah. Anyways, when it came to this bag, um, I had been borrowing it so many times and keep stealing it from her closet, so she ended up just giving it to me because she knew I'd use it a lot more than she does. Um, yeah, I love this tweed. I don't own a lot of tweed. I think this is like, only, I only own like two tweed Chanel bags. I think my favorite feature of this bag is just the fact that it has a top handle. I think it looks very like businesswoman, very, I don't know, very like good meeting bag, I guess. Um, and then... Once you get tired, you can obviously swing it on your shoulder. It's not a crossbody, it just hangs right there, which is perfect length for me. Um, but yeah, and it's super spacious. I can fit my MacBook Air in here, but nothing else, not, not, um, none of the bigger laptops. But MacBook Air fits in here. And if this is honestly a really good traveling bag or like an overnight bag or something like that. Also, if you've seen my previous bag videos, I tend to go for more colorful and bright fun bags, whereas my mom obviously goes for more like businessy, chilled out, less bright, bright colored bags, I guess. So yeah, most of her bags are black, which is good because this is the only black bag I own that's like quite large. The second largest bag that I own that's in black is the jumbo flap. So yeah, it's always good to have a nice big black bag. The second one is another one I've shared way too many times, I won't speak very much about it, but it is just the um, classic flap in white. Um, I bought this last year, I believe, and I just love this so much. It's just so easy to use. Um, this is honestly one of my most used bags in, in, in my entire collection because this fits with freaking everything. I mean, it's white, so... I wore this a lot over the summer holiday, of course. Um, most of my outfits worked with this. This just goes really nicely with any like summery dress, um, even with denim shorts, denim in general. Um, there's not been any problems at the back. I don't see any marks or like transfer anything. So I am careful when I use this bag though, because it is white. Um, luckily this is in the um, calf skin, so it's like a little bit more durable than the lamb. But anyway, this has to be my, one of my most used bags. And yeah, like I said, I'm not going to speak too much about it just because I've shared it so many times. I really hope I'm not too washed out. <sighs> I 
Okay, I don't think I've shared this bag. Um, this is a really special little bag. I bought this last year as well. And it is just a Chanel mini in the rectangular um, with the tweed. Um, they had this in like a red and black kind of color combo, but I really like this light blue-ish grayish with the yellow. It mostly looks yellow, but um, there's definitely some light blue slash gray kind of woven through it. What really made me love this bag actually um, are all the charms that are hung off of it. I think that's so sweet. There's a cat, a camellia, a heart, perfume bottle, a star, and there's even some hanging off the strap. There's a number five, another camellia, and a silhouette of Coco Chanel. And yeah, I just thought it was really, really sweet. And there's a pocket at the back which I don't think I ever used. And yeah, this is pretty much like any other Chanel mini um, bag with everything that's the same on the inside. But yeah, I think the special part is the charms on it, which I thought was really sweet. This is definitely a very wintry bag because of the tweeds. So I haven't used it as much this summer, but I can't wait to bust it back out during the winter time. Um, yeah, this is definitely a really cute one. Next is another classic flap. I do have quite a few classic flaps as they are some of my favorite bags. Obviously, a lot of girls love these. Um, this one was a gift for graduating first year of uni, I believe. Um, my parents came to visit me in London and we went shopping and my mom treated me to this bag. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, this one's an interesting one. Um, I love it. I love the, the three colors. It's pink, maroon colored, and then red. So I don't know if you can tell the difference between the pink, this is pink and this is red. Yeah, I hope you can tell the difference in color. Okay, I'm actually just gonna quickly double this up so I can explain the story with this bag. I've shared this bag so many times as well, so I don't think it matters. This is um, one of my most favorite bags that I own. It's got a lot of charms on it and it was a limited edition um, reissue bag for Taiwan. That's why there's like a Taiwan um, embellishment there. So yeah, I love this bag so much. This is red with the reissue kind of clasp, but this one I really liked that it had, oops, sorry. I really liked that it had the CC because I think that looks so beautiful um, against the red, especially in the gold. So basically my thinking behind this was since I already had a red bag, um, like a full red lambskin bag with the gold reissue clasp, um, I would try and get a little bit different and still have the red kind of like idea but it's just like three different colors so it's different enough to this bag in my opinion it's pretty different um so yeah it's so chocolatey and beautiful on the inside i love this i whenever i open this i think this looks so lush this looks like chocolate it's so smooth and buttery this is lambskin so it just feels really nice um and yeah the strap is in that same um darker maroon plummy color with the gold hardware. Um, I'm not gonna go through, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because there's a lot of videos about classic flaps. Anyway, I think this is like what I was most worried about filming this video just because I'm just like, there's really not much I can say that hasn't been said about these bags. <laughs> um, and other people do much better reviews on them. But anyway, I guess this is just a sharing video. Next is this guy here. It is um, my one of two boy bags that I own. I'm just going to share this one for this video. This one is in that metallic purple iridescent color that kind of looks different against different lighting. I mean, that looks kind of greenish to me on camera, and then the, that's purple for sure. Um, obviously, I love this because of that um, oil slick or mermaid or whatever people call this. Um, chain, it's the multicolored chain. It's very beautiful, very unique. So, like I said, this is one of two of the boy bags that I own. Um, I think I'm gonna be selling the other one that I have. I have like a metallic gray one, which I thought was just silver, but it's called metallic gray apparently. Um, and anyway, I just I'm not into the boy bags as much as I used to be. I think the classics will always be something I prefer. Um, yeah, I was late to this boy trend actually. I didn't buy a boy bag um, until like two years after they were out or something or a year after they were out. But um, I guess I always like held back because I wasn't sure if I would love this style forever. Um, 
I'm glad I didn't go crazy on them because now this is the only boy bag that I do want to keep because it's special because of the beautiful chain. I still use this um, on certain occasions. I think it's still a really cool bag and I still like the style of it but I think one is enough for me whereas like the classic flaps those are always going to be in style and I can't get over them. I love them so much and yeah. I, I mean, I hope Chanel does more of these kind of metallic kind of chains. Whether it be like one solid color or I don't know, a different color scheme or something. I think they could do some really cool, some really cool collections with like different chain colors or something. I don't know, like a, like an all white bag and then like some sort of funky like chain color. I don't, I don't know. I think, I think it'll, maybe it already exists. I don't know. I think the only downside to this bag that's like so annoying is the the straps with these buckles. They keep getting caught in my hair every time I use it. It just gets caught. It's so frustrating. But besides that, I still love this bag. I think it holds a very special place in my collection. It's quite different. And yeah, I just don't see myself buying any more boy bags in the, f in the future. So another one I don't think I've shared as much is this one. This is a um, just a silk kind of material bag. Um, it's very casual, I really like this. Oh no! Okay guys, I messed up. Um, this is actually the bag my mom bought me um, after graduating first year of uni and the other one, the red one, the red, pink and maroon colored one, that one was second year I believe. Um, yeah, my bad. So this one was my first year uh, gift. I love this bag because it's my only kind of bag in this material. It's super casual. I don't have to worry about it. I love how it feels. It's very squishy. It's like a pillow. Um, this one has a cute little charm hanging off of it as well. It just has a Chanel like jacket on it, if that makes any sense, on the coin. Um, and it just hangs there and it looks really nice when you have it cross, uh, cross body. Um, I got it in a large size so that it keeps it that more casual kind of vibe. So my mom pointed this bag out and I really liked it because of all the different patterns um, and prints on this really pretty um, bag. It's got like some Chanel logoing there, then some camellia flowers happening here and then some more flower print happening there. Something written down there but I can't really, I, can't, I don't really see what it's saying. Oh well. Anyway, the back has a large pocket and I love the oversized um, Chanel CC clasp. I can share... Um, so this is so this is like a normal size CC and that's the oversized one. I don't know if you can tell. It's like a brushed gold, so it's like kind of matte looking. I don't know. It's a really pretty combination, I think. And on the interior, it's pink. Well, this bit is the flap is black, but the interior is pink. And yeah, this is one of those really casual bags that I just run out running errands in. Oops, sorry. You can shove a lot in here basically, so this is a really good errand bag if you still like want to look really casual and stylish. Um, again, this is obviously great with like denim. I don't really wear this with very much besides like a really casual like white tee, denim shorts kind of outfit because this is such a statement, so yeah. Oops, sorry. Let's go for a smaller bag. I can't remember if I shared this one. I have quite a few of the minis, so I don't remember which ones I've shared. This one's really special because it has a little airplane on it, and yeah, I could not resist this bag because of the airplane. Um, there is some interesting like print on the actual bag. There's a bit of a logo there, and then just some stripes on it, and I don't know, the colors are cool too, but I think the little airplane on the CC is the most special thing about this bag. Um, there's a pocket on the back, like all minis do, I believe. And on the interior, it's still blue um, on the flat bag and then black. Or no, it's blue, sorry. It's blue on the inside. So yeah, I think that's all I can think about. Like, I don't know what else to say about this silver hardware. It's cute AF and I really like it. I don't know what to say about these bags, guys. I guess, like I said, I have to just remember I'm just sharing. There's not, like, I don't... Okay, so the next bag is this little lady. She's really, really cute. My favorite thing about her is the top handle. I love a top handle bag because I generally do like to wear bags like this. If it's not like this, then it's over my shoulder, obviously. But sometimes you just want to hold it on your hand and just be really, like, elegant and ladylike. I don't know. <laughs> um... So when you... So this, she's in... She, she has gold hardware, and if you open her up, she's got three compartments. Um, which you can see on the sides. Um, 
this does not fit an iPhone 7 Plus. I'm just going to tell you that much. You can shove it in um, without a case. It does fit, but you will have to like put force into it, which I've done many times and the bag is still fine. Um, but yeah, it's not a bag where you can stuff a lot, a lot of things, but you can still put your essentials basically, especially because it expands out and gives you a bit of space. Okay, hopefully it's focusing on this bit here. I just wanted to share this bit. I think this is super cute, these two little bits up top with the CC logo and it's pink. Yeah, the CC logo is pink. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, um, just a side note though, if you do decide to keep the straps in, if you have a 7 Plus phone or anything of this size, the plus size, it probably won't fit in there um, because the chain will block it. I've tried to put it in these two compartments, which is, it worked out a little harder than putting it at the back, so I don't know, I guess you just have to play around with it. But if you have a small phone, then you don't have to worry about it at all. Um, I wish it did have a back pocket as well, it doesn't, that's fine. She's super cute and I love her and she, she's like a little cupcake. Okay, moving on to the next bag. Um, this is a bag that I got in Bangkok in 2012 in Thailand. I think um, I put a lot of my um, Chinese New Year slash Tet lucky money into purchasing this. Yeah, this is one of my most used summer bags. I don't know, I don't know if you can see the texture of this, but it looks like a net made out of like leather and there is like a piece of fabric in between I think so it's not like it's see-through you can't see through it but it's like netted I don't know I'm doing I'm doing a horrible job at describing these bags actually again it has an oversized CC this time in silver and yeah this is such a good bag especially for like a beach trip I think at the time when I bought it I was going on I was at a beachy uh because after Bangkok we went to the beach obviously, um, to the islands, so this is a very appropriate bag for that kind of um, situation I think. Um, so I think I bought this because I thought it was the most appropriate kind of fancy bag to wear um, going to the beach. Not that I only wear this when I go to the beach, I do wear this in general in the city, generally in the summertime. Um, I love the really small thin straps on this as well, um, I think it just makes this bag very dainty. There is a pocket in here, which I like to keep my phone in, and then um, a main pocket at the back. It's fully lined with blue material on the inside, so it's not leather. Um, so yeah, I have brought this to the beach many, many a times. So there is a bit of sand stuck in here, but I cleaned it out. So it's looking pretty good. I don't see it anymore. Um, this next one, another blue Chanel. I think I really like my blue bags, I guess. So I was on the market for a denim Chanel bag. Um, I really liked the idea of, the, of a denim Chanel bag. So I walked into the store and asked them to bring out all the denim ones that they had. And this one really caught my eye because it had um, embroidered pattern of all the Chanel perfume bottles. So there's Coco Chanel, this is the number five one. There's Allure on the side there. There's Chanel Chance at the back. Um, and then, yeah, more of the Chanel Number no. 5 perfumes. They're mostly of that and the Chanel Chance, but I think it's really cute how they imported it all over the bag. So I thought it was like more unique than just getting a plain um, denim bag. And also something I didn't notice before, but because um, I just assumed anything Chanel would just be like superly overpriced, not that this wasn't overpriced, but um, in comparison to their leather bags, this is generally quite affordable, so I was very happy with that. So um, yeah, the hardware is like an antique silver hardware. And yeah, the interior is denim as well, and then it's just black on the other side. Only singular flap as well. Um, this is a bag that I've shared in a previous video, I'm sure of. This is a tote bag that my mom bought me when we went to Japan a couple of years ago. And um, yeah, she bought me this because I needed a new laptop bag or just something I can like really bring some like work and papers and laptop in basically. Back in the day, I was also eyeing the Chanel Shopper tote, the one that I think is maybe uh, discontinued now because I heard that was a rumor thing but it's just got the massive CC and it's like quilted and stuff a lot of people um, have that bag but when I walked in obviously I wanted to find something a bit different and I saw this bag and it's not the most popular bag so I thought I would give this a try I really really like it I use this a lot when it comes to bringing like when I have to bring my laptop out this is kind of the bag that I would use it's got the antique gold sorry that sounded weird um, it's got the antique gold hardware on it. 
Okay, so my memory card was full, so I had to download the, um, uh, the footage onto my computer. But I don't remember what I was saying about this bag, besides the fact that this is the bag that I use whenever I'm bringing my computer around. Um, and then I just have a massive smiley face pom-pom on it. That keeps me happy throughout the day. <laughs> um, yeah, I like that there's the option of holding it top handle. Like I said, I love that style. I like holding bags like that. But you know, when you get tired, you like to swing it over the shoulder. Um, this is similar um, uh, distance from shoulder to bag as this guy, which is a very comfortable um, distance. I just, yeah, I really like where it hangs on me. It keeps, it's very comfortable. Um, besides that, yeah, it's got three compartments. No, two compartments, that's a lie. It's got a front pocket here, as well as a back pocket, which has a crap load of stuffing in it to keep its shape. Obviously, there's like mobile pockets and like small pockets at the back, but yeah. Another great traveling bag as well. Okay, so the last couple bags I'm going to share are vintage bags. All three of these were bought off of Vestair. I love, love, love vintage bags. I've probably mentioned this before, but I honestly, one of my favorite things to do is go on Vestair and like uh, do a search for only vintage bags. So I'll just do like filter for vintage Chanel bags and they're just my favorite to look at because I think they're so pretty and stunning. Anyways, I'm just going to share a couple of my favorite that I found on Vestair this being one of them. So I bought this before the um, White Chanel Classic. I got this maybe two to three years ago and I love using this so much. I actually spilt wine on her once, like red wine all down here. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my God. Um, wiped it off completely fine. Can't even see a thing, perfect. Um, I just love vintage style bags. I just think they're so cool. I love this massive envelope style um, front pocket here, which I put my phone in. And then I love, I, I even love the tacky, like really bright gold kind of um, hardware that's going on on this. On the interior, it looks like this. There's a coin and a boarding pass in there. I think I mentioned it in a previous video. I like to keep random coins in all my bags because it's like good luck. I don't know, it's a thing that my mom taught me. And this is a boarding pass from Hanoi to Kuala Lumpur in December of last year. So I bought this with me to Bali, I believe. Well, I went to Kuala Lumpur and Bali with this, which held up pretty well, because I took this to the beach a couple times. Anyways, um, yeah, again, I love the length. It hangs, just hangs like comfortably with a bit of space under the armpit. So it's, yeah, it's very comfortable. And this is actually the second vintage bag I bought. Should have shared the first one. This is the first one that I bought off of the website. I was on the hunt for an orange Chanel bag and um, I decided to look at the vintage, what, what was in the vintage market. And I saw this one and I thought it was really, really cute. I think what I love about these bags are like the large flaps that open. I think I love that style. I think it looks really nice um, and a huge open space. And I also really like the chain length, like I said in the previous ones. Obviously these still aren't the most cheapest bags, but when it, when you buy them vintage and these kinds of bags, they, they do tend to go for a lot less than like what you would buy in store. I tend to like using these kinds of bags on vacation because I don't mind if they wear more because it adds to that like, you know, vintage vibe to be worn. I like worn things. I love the massive back pocket here. It's huge. Um, and yeah, this would be such a good traveling bag as well because you can just like pop your boarding pass in there and your passport and walk around. This one, um, this one has the old Chanel dust bag as well, which is cool. Um, and yeah, there's two compartments, one back pocket and one larger front pocket. And then there's a zip pocket at the back as well. Also for me, um, I generally, whenever I buy my um, bags from Vestair, especially when they're vintage, I do look out for the authenticity card. I do prefer having that um, in the package. This one, also has a little like notebook, a care booklet I guess, whoops. So yeah, I always keep that at the back pocket. But yeah, I have one for all my vintage bags, which is very important for me. <sighs> Wait. I had some coffee, so now I'm like feeling the jitters and I'm like, calm down. 
I'm actually also in a little bit of a rush because a friend of mine is meeting me at Sachi Gallery and he's already there and I was like, wait, I need to finish this video. So yeah, luckily I don't live very far away from it. So it'll be easy for me to get to. But yeah, that's pretty much it for these two bags. They're really similar in size and in style, but this one just has a massive flap at the top and this one's zippered and there's a flap at the front. So the last two bags I'm gonna share um, are both some of my smallest bags that I own. This one being one of them, and it is super cute. I love this style. Um, I don't know if this is really vintage, but it advertises vintage. I don't know how old it is, but I freaking love these little buckles that um, connect the strap to the bag. I love that it's a handheld and that it doesn't have a crossbody, so it's like you have to hold it like this. I love this size. It's so dinky and cute and tiny. I just love it. Um, it fits my iPhone, so that's nice. And yeah, like I said, I always ask for the authenticity card. Um, and yeah, I mean, I bought this right before I went on my holiday to south of France because I thought this would be the perfect bag to use um, by the French Riviera. It advertised as a kind of orangish color. I see more red. This is more like an orange tone red, I guess. I also love that the CC clasp works on both sides. There's the dust bag in there. And then there's uh, the other side. There's a little bit of a pocket there, which I keep the authenticity card in. Okay, so down to the last bag, finally, guys. Um, this is my tiniest little Chanel ever. It's super, super small. Let me just hold it against a regular size square mini. It is teeny tiny. Um, this is this was actually the second Chanel bag that I bought for myself. So I actually got this little guy um, on a website called Vintage Heirloom, which is like the first kind of vintage or consignment online consignment shop that I found when I moved to London. And I love this little one. She's so, so cute. And I used to use her a lot more when I had the smaller phone. Like, I don't know, like the first iPhone or something. No, um, I must have been on like iPhone. I don't know what iPhone I was on because iPhone changes all the freaking time. But back in the day when we the iPhones would fit in here, obviously now, my phone crap. I left my phone in the other room so I can't show comparison but this is basically too small for the iPhone 7 plus it was what I'm trying to say but back in the day when I had a small phone I use this so much because it fits inside um, I got this again I think in 2012 and it was vintage at the time and yeah it's just a really small um, little Chanel bag I love the yellow interior and there's some stuffing in here, um, again with the authenticity card, and it's just yellow with nothing else. There's no pocket in this one at all. But yeah, now that like the teeny tiny bags are kind of on trend, um, I'm glad that I have this, and I still, I mean, that I still have this. I don't think I'd ever get rid of this though, because I think the colors of this is what I fell in love with. I love this light purple with this light green, and then this like strong orange. I think it's such a beautiful combination and I love the orange on the CC as well. This is just a random waffle with sprinkles on it that I got in a box once and I just hung it on this because I keep this just on display and I just thought it was cute to hang it on display. Um, I would never wear it out with this on it but it's really very comforting to squish these so yeah. <laughs> So there's this little guy, really, really sweet. It's just purple at the back. So I think that's everything I'm going to share in this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy seeing a good amount of my Chanel collection. Um, I'm very, very lucky. And yeah, these are things I've collected for a while now. I love Chanel bags. I did share quite a few. I think I shared 15, maybe 16 in this video. So I thought I was like going to be a good amount to share. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed seeing more of my Chanel collection or my bag collection in general. Um, and thumbs up if you guys want to see more. Um, in the future I'll do more collection videos I guess and yeah that's pretty much it hit the subscribe button if you guys want to catch up with me again um, as well as the bell to get notified and yeah besides that leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions about these or reviews if that you guys want um, I'll try my best um, or yeah suggestions for our future videos besides that I'll see you guys soon have a good day bye